great chance to talk to all of you. I have attended a couple Tea Party meetings. I even attended the first level of the self-governance training. And I like this organization. You're organized, you're focused, you actually try to do something to change the things about government you don't like. Most of us just complain, but you actually try to do something. And I like some of your core principles. I like the principle of less government intrusion, less government spending. I like those things. <clears throat> I've always considered myself an independent because I've always voted for the candidate I thought was, would be best for the position. Uh, when I decided to run for office, I kind of had to pick a party. I'm running as a Democrat. Although I am very conservative on fiscal issues, I am more modern on social issues. Greg, uh, the libertarian candidate, said I should be a libertarian. <laughs> I was born and raised at Dexter. Uh, I got three engineering degrees from the University of at Rolla. I'm an Army veteran. After college in the military, I went back to Dexter and got a job with a small engineering firm. Ended up staying there 16 years and becoming a partner and one-third owner of the firm. I learned a lot about small business during that time. I learned how hard it is to comply with all the government policies and regulations. I learned how hard it is to, to comply with, to keep clients and interact with employees. It was really a, a good educational experience. After that, I wanted to broaden my horizons and I was fortunate enough to get a job as an environmental engineer with the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. And I was extra fortunate after a few years to be promoted to the director of the Southeast Regional Office of Popper Bus. <coughs> a wonderful job, a terrific job. I was a mid-level manager, which allowed me the opportunity to interact directly with the line staff on environmental issues, but also interact with the upper-level management on policy and budget issues. I learned a lot about state government. I really enjoyed that. I learned a lot about managing a, a regional office. During that time, I also served on the Dexter School Board for 12 years. I was president of the board for four years. <clears throat> I, I retired, oh, a few years ago and moved to Cape Girardeau. And now the main thing I do is I volunteer. I volunteer at all area hospitals. I volunteer at St. Francis on Monday and Thursday mornings, southeast on Wednesday afternoons. If you come in, you need a wheelchair ride, I'm there for you. <laughs> I really thank my experience in the private sector and government and education has prepared me well. I, I really think that it has prepared me well to be a state representative. <clears throat> what would I do as a state representative? That's what you're interested in. What are the things that I would try to do? We're limited in time tonight, so I'm only going to mention three or four. The first thing I would try to do is I would work to reduce the house of the, of the reduce the size of the state house of representatives. And, and this is not about Kathy. Kathy's a fine person. This is just a general statement. Missouri has 163 state representatives. That's more than New York. That's more than California. That's more than Texas. That's more than most other states. I believe the House would be more professional, more focused, more organized, and could better serve us if it's about half that meeting. Plus, it would save us a ton of money. Another thing I would do is I would work to try to find funding for transportation needs. I voted against the sales tax for transportation because I didn't feel that was the appropriate way to fund transportation. But I recognize that we must have a well-maintained, modern transportation system for our economy to thrive. And I think the legislature is going to have to provide some leadership on this issue, and I would work to that end. I would also work to try to do away with the state lottery. I've never liked the state lottery. You know, when it passed, they promised there would be no advertising and all the money would go to education. That's not true. It's not happening that way. Plus, we found that the lottery is not a reliable source of funding. I'm not a moralist. I'm truly not. If people want to gamble, that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. But government should not be in the business of promoting things that exploit people. That is not the role of government. I would work against that. I also would try to seek legislation to do away with solicitation on behalf of law enforcement. We've all probably gotten calls from somebody purporting to represent the Highway Patrol or some sheriff's agency wanting us to contribute something to their retirement or some kind of fund. That's inappropriate. That hints of intimidation. That's demeaning to the agency represented. Now, I don't even know if they really represent the agency, but you don't know. We should just pass a law where that's illegal. Then we would know. Then we'd just hang the phone up and there wouldn't be a problem. Excuse me. I need to walk back here. I can't see the timer. <laughs> Still got it. 
Uh, in closing, let me say, I, I, I feel that I have the qualifications to be a good state representative. I have the time now, I have the desire, and I have the experience. <clears throat> and, and more important than that, I want to help people. I truly do. When I first started getting positions where I had a little bit of authority, I learned that one of the most rewarding things was helping people. I found that when people came to me with a problem, oftentimes I could help them solve that problem. When I was a partner in a business, or when I was on the Board of Education, or when I was a director of a regional office, I could often solve a problem for somebody and help them solve the problem. Not always, but often. And that was the best feeling in the world. I just love that feeling. I get that feeling when I volunteer at the hospital, although I don't have any position as authority. <clears throat> But I really would like, I'm, I'm not trying to make myself to sound noble, because I am not noble. But I know that being an elected representative is about more than laws, giving speeches, raising money. It's about helping people, and that's what I want to do. Thank you.